Hello YouTube, it's Angel. Just coming back from church, so I decided to make a video. Um, this week, I'm not gonna post like weight or anything like that, cause I, like I told y'all before, I decided to put up the scale, so I'm not even gonna look at the scale. Um, and only once a month, I'll post my weight on here. So, because the obsession, obsession, I can't even say it, obsession with the scale has just got to the point where it's just ridiculous. But I will tell y'all, yesterday I went to a barbecue. And I didn't want to put on no clothes, so I just put on, like, some jogging pants and, like, a tank, a white tank top. Do you know that with me putting that on, I guess everybody else is starting to notice my weight loss, which really made me notice my weight loss, that I have lost a whole bunch of inches. I think that all along that it hasn't been a pound of an inches thing, because I'm talking about my body is starting to form, y'all, like, like, I'm starting to bring sexy back for real, like, like. The, the whole outer glass figure is, is coming back. Like, my figure is definitely coming back there. Um, I can't fit hardly none of my clothes no more. So even though I haven't lost nothing but like, maybe 23 pounds, I have lost a whole bunch of inches because my clothes is feeling, fitting, like, fitting on me. I had to actually start going to buy new stuff because my clothes will not fit on me anymore. And I'm definitely starting to notice the weight loss. Like, like I, the girl starting to look good, y'all. <laughs> I hate to say it that way, but the girl's starting to look good. And I'm, I'm starting to notice that, and everybody noticed that yesterday. For me, for everybody to come all dressed up, and for me to have on some jogging pants and a tank top, everybody started noticing yesterday. It's like everything is starting to fall right in place, your whole body form and everything. And I love my genes and my genetics because no matter how much weight I lose, I'm always going to have breasts, thighs, and hips. That's in my genes. Everybody in my family, no matter how much weight they weigh, they still have a body shape on them. And even being a big girl, you really can't tell because I have a nice shape. Um, I don't know. Maybe I could stand up for some. I don't think I ever did that. Let me see. Um, can y'all see? Uh, let, me, let me try to fix it. I'm kind of like dressed up for church, so no pay attention to that part of it. Let me see if I could do it. See, like... This is my shape. My stomach, you see, I don't have, like, a big, wide stomach. I don't know if y'all can tell in this shirt or where the picture is. But my body, even though I'm a big girl, my body is even, and it's always been that way. So I don't have a problem with that part of it. I don't know if y'all can really see. You know they say that um, the camera at 10 pounds on, so don't look at that extra 10 pounds. But I've always been a real shapely girl. Like, even though being a big girl, I've always been... The, the cute big girl, so whatever. But I am starting to notice a huge difference, and I'm so glad that I just got us with that um that scale up because I think that was blocking a lot of things. Um, I'm starting to come into a glimpse that I am an emotional eater, like I told y'all before. I, I discovered that a long time ago, and I'm working with that too. Like I said, you know grapes right now <laughs> because that's my anything stressing me out. Instead of me grabbing food or something like that, I grab something that's healthy, like grapes or an applesauce or jello or something like that. And it's been working for me. Like, I don't have any problems anymore. My eating is tremendous. Like, I, I'm going to have to, I keep on saying this, I'm going to make a video. And I think Band and Wendy to, um, asked me that too about making a video with the food that I eat. I'm going to show y'all how I eat. I am extremely picky about what I put in my mouth. Like, my eating part is down packed to the T. I went to the barbecue yesterday. I ate a hamburger, and it wasn't a regular hamburger. I made them. I brought my own special turkey burgers, and I only ate one. That's it. Do you know how much food they had at that barbecue and how much temptation I had? But I only ate one. So I think I'm doing damn good. Um, Like I said, food is starting to become nothing to me. And you know you use the stress over food. I got to have this. I got to have that. But it didn't get to the point where it's just not, it's just nothing. Like, it's food. So, I mean, I got to feed my body to live, but that's that's all that I'm making it is. I think we make too much big of a deal of what food actually is. And the portion size nowadays is just tremendous. Like, I'm going to find myself, even if I go out to the restaurants, I have enough food left over after I finish eat to share with, like, four kids. So, it's crazy how much of a big size that we used to eat, and you don't recognize that until you actually get the surgery and start realizing I thought I didn't eat that much food, but in actuality, we was. That's that's not because that's what we choose, but that's because that's the way that society serve us. 
They serve us these huge, tremendous portions of food, and we're thinking that, oh, I'm just going to get this one meal and just eat that, and that ain't a lot. But in actuality, nowadays, one meal going to like a regular restaurant is about 2,000 calories your whole meal for the day, or either anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000, and it is just ridiculous. And then another thing, like I told y'all before, um, I can't eat bread no more, which I think is helping me a lot because I had a bread addiction. I sometimes get teary eyes when I drive past Subway because <laughs> that was my thing. But if you think about Subway, you have a lot of bread. It's a lot of, um, okay, what am, what's the word I'm looking for? Start with a C, with the bread. Um, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Carbohydrates. It's a lot of carbohydrates in Subway, and a bread is just not, it's just not a good thing. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just my body type, but I just don't do bread at all no more. I do batter little healthy tortilla shells, and I fix my sandwiches and stuff with that, and that works for me. So, the food part I don't have any problem with. Um, I did get another feel, guys. I got um, one more cc, which brought me to a total of 6.5 cc's. And here's the crazy part about this feel. When I went to go get the feel, I was starving that morning. Like, starving. Like, my stomach was just like, <laughs> like a heart beating fast or something. And they gave me the feel, and I was just all of a sudden feel. I, like, I was full. Like, I felt like I just had a meal. Now, this feel is actually crazy because when I got five and a half cc's, I was throwing up things, and food was getting stuck and everything. And then I got another feel, which is higher number, six and a half cc's, and I'm perfect. I can eat my food down without a problem. Haven't thrown up since I got the feel. I feel like I'm full, and I could, like, tell myself I'm only eating three meals a day. When I don't feel like I'm suffering, and it's crazy because now that I'm actually tired than I was, it's working out better for me, which is really, really weird, but this is the best feel I got. I don't feel like I got lapping. I don't feel like I'm being restricted for stuff. Like, I'm only able to eat a certain amount of food, trust me. Trust on that, but I don't feel like, I feel like I can, I can actually stay at this field for a really long time. Like, I'm not planning on getting any fields no more because I'm really at my sweet spot right now. I am so good. It's ridiculous. Like, I'm at the point where I'm able to eat food, but not a lot of food, and I still feel full the whole day. So, this field is really, really working out for me. Um, I'm trying to think whatever I had to say up here because I'm, I'm hot. It's like 100 some degrees out here in Vegas. <laughs> so, I'm a little flushed right now. Um... But let's see what else is going on with me. I'm still working on the exercise thing. I'm still trying to stay motivated with that. I'm really, really, really pushing myself. Um, honestly, I think that losing weight is a lot of mental stress. And I'm starting to realize that maybe my weight wasn't about just being big or eating a lot. It maybe it was, had a lot to do with the mental thing, which comes with the um, overeating and stuff. So I'm actually going to start like just going to talk to a counselor. They offer free at my job. And just talk the problems too because I'm trying to like be able to lose my weight, keep it off, and get rid of the men not only the fit physical problem but the mental problems too. Not saying I'm crazy, y'all, but it's just a lot of stress and a lot of things that you go over over the years, whether or not if it's family or anything else, and you think that you're fine with it, but in actuality, you're not. Like you're not. So it's just good every now and then to have somebody to talk to and, and like I said I'm trying to work around the whole thing all around I'm doing a straight 360 so I'm back on my game point and like I said this surgery was my final step you I mean you can't you had weight loss surgery so what else can you do <laughs> there's nothing else beyond weight loss surgery so it's either get it off now or don't take it off ever or get happy with being the sad that you are so I'm just embracing everything and I'm, I'm telling you it's coming off it may be going slow but it's coming off but it's time and i think that's gonna be about it for me today make this a real well i guess it ain't no short video but um like i said i just got back into church girl and i'm tell y'all if for people that don't go to church i was one of the people that really didn't believe in god and all that stuff like that and i'm not going to church because of the whole oh my god lord thing it's just sometimes you need something to get you back like you need something to believe in if you have nothing absolutely nothing in your life to believe in things can be looking down especially when bad situations happen so i'm gonna just leave it with that i'm not trying to preach to nobody because lord knows i ain't the person to preach i do what i want to do but i ain't the person to preach but um 
everybody stay healthy, and I guess I'll see you guys next week. Like I said, I'm going to start posting my weight once a month. The next time will be October the 1st when I post my weight, but I'm still going to make my weekly videos. I'll just have to find other stuff to amuse everybody, but trust me. Keep on watching my videos because you never know what I may say. I may have a good day today, but next week I might be calling, talking about I'm venting about something and I'm upset about something. So just keep watching. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.